Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Open XCOM. We have landed near a uh, UFO supply ship, which is intact, so that's actually a break now we're having, because we seriously need some Illyrium. The Uncanny Tranny will be... Uh, oh yeah, of course, I forgot to mention that the downside to this mission is that it's at night. So, yay, that's good. Fortunately, we have a hedge here, behind which we can uh, take cover, hopefully, because obviously the mutants can't fly. And the tank should take the brunt of the attack. I can't remember whether the mutants have blaster launchers or not, but we'll have to be careful either way. So let's go over here. And to cover Lyra. Where can you go? Can you get there? Yes, just. Nice. Fernando. Also there into cover. Excellent. Just enough time units. This Avenger is so big, we uh, use up most of our time units just getting off the, the Avenger, of course. <laughs> Shrapnel sponge. Now I have a feeling, I have a nasty feeling that this uh, ramp over here is not going to protect us from uh, plasma shots, which would be rather annoying. Oops, no, no, go over here. There. Alright, now, let's hope they don't uh, have some, have smarts and throw a grenade there. That would be pretty damn bad. They would destroy our cover, and they would also probably kill a few people. Unless the flying suits live up to their names. Well, if they le lived up to their names, then the explosion would make people fly around. Oh dear. Right, so nothing happened. It's interesting, but not really, uh... Yeah, I don't know. CK Hawk, let's, uh... Oh, you don't have a flare. Shrapnel sponge, let's throw a flare over there. Just to make sure there's no bloody... Big... No mutants hiding over there. Well, so far there's nothing. So far it's been really quiet for some reason. Hmm. Still nothing. <clears throat> Abandoneer. That's not enough time units. You don't have a flying suit, so you will go around here and wait by the doors. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. You said that would be one time unit left. F Pete's sake. <clears throat> right, Boss McMoot. 16 time units left. You also don't have a flying suit. You do. <laughs> well, let's get everyone ready over here. Snowy frog. And then somebody will appear over here and shoot everyone in the back. That's what's gonna happen. Salix. Yeah, the nice thing about these flying suits is we can just go over here. Near the UFO. And then keep shooting. Well, just, you know, pop over and keep shooting. Let's pick up this flare. Oh! That was close. 13. Pick up the flare. Oh, you've just got enough to get out of there. Yeah, there he is. There's the mutant. Excellent. Okay. Let's have some people shoot at that bastard. Uh... CK Hawk, up a level, 66% only. Shame, but very nice. Didn't kill him, of course. And actually, wait, CK Hawk can go back down. No, nope, not enough time units, never mind. The Uncanny Tranny is in a very good position. Can you actually throw that over there? No, way too far. Um, crouch, that's not great, wow. 43% only. Nice! Nice headshot there, bloody hell. Not bad. Let's just make sure there's no one here. There's no one here, right? Okay, these guys are gonna wait here. You guys wait here, Eridani. Need to move closer. I'm gonna put the tank uh, in the way of the door, probably. Just to sort of block it. So the aliens don't get any ideas and shoot our friend Bandoneer here, who got stuck there without enough time units to move. 
Alright, the Templar, your guys are gonna wait there. And Sid Black also. Didn't Sid Black die? I thought he died in the blaster bomb last uh, episode. Apparently not. Okay, well, good for you. Right, end the turn. Head movement. Yep, that is a mutant back there, I believe. Oh, so they're outside as well in some of the buildings. Those were normal puny human doors opening and closing. Probably were there. There's a building, but this one does not have doors. This is a barn. So it must be down here. Over here. That's a fence. Yeah, that's a building, I think. Or maybe another orchard. Right, uh, you have another flare. Can you actually throw it there? No. You know what? Go up a level and now throw it. Excellent. What the hell did it... That's great. <laughs> I have no clue where it landed. Shite. Okay, let's bring the tank over here. Do some shouting. Okay. Hello. You're ugly. Olira. Oh, there's two of them there. Excellent. Bang. Oh, there's three of them there. Holy crap. That's uh, almost a uh, perfect target for a blaster launcher. You know what? Why not? We don't need their stuff. We're just gonna shoot. Sigmar, let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, you feel lucky, you bastards? Eat this. Oh. Where the hell did it go? I told it to smash down into the into the ground, didn't I? Oh crap, there's still two left. But they should be extremely low on health, so. Oh well. Right, take one out. Nice. Yep, that was expected. Could take another shot, but I'm, I'd rather hide for now. Eridani, show us what you've got. 70%, that is pretty darn good. Excellent. Nicely done, Eridani. Right. Okay, I think it's time to see what's inside the UFO. Hello? No one here so far. Nope, no one. No one. Alright. Let's get other people in there then. Actually, Boss McMoot is gonna go here. Snowy Frog. Okie dokie. Salix will also go inside. There's, uh, there's little point in bringing the flares inside because the inside of the UFO is confined. And you usually have enough uh, light, as you can see, because your soldiers seem to emit light as well. Uh, shrapnel sponge. We definitely need to get closer to this area and check it. The orchards are a dangerous place. Let's pick up this flare and we'll throw it the next turn. There. Bend near, Sam Frost will also go inside and face the other way, so we basically f sort of form a, uh, you know, a Roman turtle, if you like. All the strongest armor is pointing uh, towards where the aliens can come from. Look at that thing. That's, uh, uh, devastation there. There's another one here. Holy crap. Nope, can't do an aim shot. I can do a 41% shot. Oh. Shame. That could have been a nice shot there. Uh, Templar, nothing. Sigmar, nothing. Sid Black, nothing. CK Hawk! You could take an extremely interesting shot over here, all the way across the map to this guy. And miss, of course, because, you know, why not? Let's do 9%! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> didn't think so. The Uncanny Tranny is over here. Who can crouch and do a 43% shot. Why, why is your aim so low? Wow, this... Ah, no. What the hell? Firing accuracy 43. That's, that's ridiculous. What the hell? Well, that guy's gonna fire at the tank. Hello. Oh, is he unarmed? Or does he have a grenade or something? 
What the hell was the point of that move? He just moved in front of the tank and that's it. Okay, bye. No, he does have some kind of a weapon. A rifle, maybe. I think it was dark. No, it's a heavy plasma. Huh. Well, Lyra, take him out. 51% only. Nice. Excellent. You guys are racking up kills over here. Right, Fernando. Let's go. Only 19 time units before the doors. That's not great. No one here. Yeah, that is not great. Sid Black. We need to secure this first level of the UFO. Unfortunately, if a mutant comes over here, he can just do auto shots and you will die. Well, let's get closer. Oh, there's another mutant. They surely do like the outdoors, don't they? The uncanny tranny. 43%. Let's try this. Come on. You could kill this one with a side shot. Ah, oh, so close. The uncanny tranny. Come on. 0% to hit. Okay, never mind. Right, let's uh, check out this area. Oh, hello there. Abandon here. Take it away. <laughs> See, that's why it's good to use uh, auto shots. Because sometimes... A snapshot is just not enough. Especially for mutants. Even two shots, as you could see, were not enough for that guy. Get him. Ah, no line of fire, damn it. How much? 23, okay. Uh, yes, that's what I was afraid of! Fuck. Zalex has been killed. God damn it. Is gonna fire again? No. You bastard, you're gonna pay for the... Bastard. And of course, they will be able to hit me here. Make no mistake. Damn, lost another person. Alright, let's go. It's a really bloody lucky shot as well. Shrapnel sponge. Let's throw this somewhere over here. Okay, let's see what we can see. I'm not gonna go into the orchards like that. I'm just gonna fly over them. Oh, and we see... Oh yeah, that mutant over there, of course. Uh, Sam Frost. Let's go. Hover tank. Needs to get and pay this guy a visit. Oh, there's another one out there. Okay. Oh, that did quite a bit of damage. Look at this devastation here, though. 30%. No line of fire. Of course not. 31. Well, that's as far as I can go. No line of fire. Of course. Hello. Now we see both of them. Where's the other one? In there. On the first level as well. You know what? I can't be bothered with these clowns. Master Bomb, is, it, is there anything in the way? Is there anyone in the way except the tank? Not really, right? So we can easily do this. Probably not gonna kill this one, but whatever. Let's go. Launch. All the way over here. All the way over here. And where is that guy? There. Go. Yeah. Boom! Lati held completely obliterated that place. Completely obliterated. It's ridiculous. Boss McMoot, if Eridani could move over here, Boss McMoot could actually maybe take a shot. And that guy, if you fly, where are you? Come on. Oh, you can't fly. Shit. Bloody UFO! <laughs> yeah, now, of course, you won't be able to take us. Nine percent. Yeah, that's gonna be great. <laughs> Never mind. All right, that's it. Well, I think we'll say goodbye to the tank now, because he's gonna go. No, he's not gonna go auto. Okay. Nothing happened. That's good. Well, the tank is still good. The tank is still good. 
Alera, he's been having some real good shots, I think. Nice. Oh. I thought he would hit him, but no, unfortunately not. <clears throat> Anyone here? Reaction shots? No. Good. Good, good, good. Let's wait over here then. CK Hawk. Come on. Redemption. Yeah, don't don't hit the tank, please. 35. And that hits! There we go. Jeez. Right, I want these guys now. Snowy Frog. Not the best person to be going up. Because he's a high-ranking soldier. And I don't want those in the line of fire. Like that. Okay, Ridani. No, first of all, Sam Frost. Let's go up there as well. Let's make sure we have some backup there. Alright, and let's also find out whether there's anyone else in this area. They really love this area over here. God damn, there was a lot of them. There's probably uh, an entrance to the alien base here. <laughs> it would be cool if you could actually see the entrance to the alien base like that. You guys stay there. The Uncanny Tranny, Boss McMood. Right. Abandoneer, let's go. We need you up there. Go up a level. Boss McMood as well. The tank will uh, take care of the scouting around the UFO. Okay. Eridani. Well, so far, so good, but, uh, yeah, I wish we didn't lose a per uh, guy here. That was a bit annoying. So there's nothing else here, I think, right? Yeah. Well, that was already it. Jeez. I'm not very confident about this, that elevator room, exactly. He's only ha He only has a rifle, but that could have hurt still. So, Abandoneer didn't even take a scratch. You know what? You do an auto shot on me, I do an auto shot on you! <laughs> Bastard. Alright. Sam Frost. Check out the area. No one here. Okay. Good. Hover tank. Check the area. <laughs> Was it so far away? Jeez. Alright. You guys do nothing. Sit black, let's go. This is the uh, top area over here. Anyone else? CK Hawk can also go inside the UFO. We'll probably be too late to see some action. But still. The Uncanny Tranny is gonna wait there, he's too far away. Eridani. Let's have some more people over here. Check that room. Oh, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Oh, come on. Really? That easily with one shot? Eridani was killed? Crap. Okay, so there is a guy over there as well. Brilliant. Well, I can go over there. And crouch, I guess. Snowy Frog, 32. That's probably a very stupid thing to do, but let's do it anyway. Die! 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 Good. Well, there, uh... Let's go in there. Go, go, go. Rock and roll. Uh, Fernando will join his buddy on the top floor. There we go. Gotta clean out the cockpit as well. Shrapnel sponge is gonna wait there. Abandon here. It's gonna go over here. And that's it. Right. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, that was so lucky. What? He has more time units. How the hell did you survive that? Did he only have a... Boss McBoot? Not even a scratch. What the hell? And that guy has a heavy, heavy plasma. Arr! Arr! 
Boss McMood, you are a boss. That was ridiculous. You survived all of that. I know that some shots missed, but bloody hell, that was a heavy plasma. And you survived it without a scratch. <sighs> I think this is a good place to stop. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.